Hey guys, it's Sarah from Snacks and Crafts. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, it's another Mommy's Night Out. I started my evening by eating dinner at home so I could save some money and eat up these groceries that I've just been accumulating because I keep buying things on sale and then I don't cook the things right away and then I'm like, why do we have four corned beef roasts? Because they were on sale. They were half price, so I bought them. So I had corned beef and some leftover veggie tots, cauliflower tots. If you are a veggie tot person, if you are a green giant veggie tot person, you need to get the zucchini tots. They're way better than the cauliflower tots. They remind me of just, I mean, they're just fried zucchini. They're really, really good. I went to Whole Foods to return these. Really loud. I went to Whole Foods to return these Amazon shorts that I bought. Messy. Cherry limeade Waterloo. Bubbles. I'm returning these shorts because they did not fit. They were like shapewear shorts. And they were... I just bought the wrong size. I should have got an extra large and I bought a large. And they gave me a really bad muffin top. But they cinched everything else in. So if I think if I size up, it'll be fine. Or if I get the full body shapewear, it would be fine. But I didn't want to do that. So I was like, it's fine. So I went to Whole Foods after afterwards because I did the return at Whole Foods and I bought some things and I'm going to show you what I bought. This is a piece of cheese from the five dollar four and under box in the cheese section. This is an Uplands cheese Pleasant Ridge Reserve raw milk aged 60 days or more. It was $1.50 for this little piece. 0 0.05 pounds. How many ounces is that? 0.8 ounces. So just under an ounce. I don't know. Can you eat the can you eat the rind? Ugh. Ugh, that's nasty. That is rank. Ew. <laughs> I just won't eat the rind on that. Okay, and this is the Parmigiano Reggiano <clears throat> excuse me. Parmigiano Reggiano. I'm pretty good. That was a what? Pleasant Ridge Reserve Uplands Cheese. What's an Uplands cheese? Uplands cheese. Oh, it's a brand. A dairy farm that sits on top of Pleasant Ridge, Wisconsin. It's a Wisconsin cheese. Oh my goodness. That was crumbly. Oh man. She took away my good. All right, we're gonna move. We've moved. I need to find more shade. I didn't realize that vehicle was giving me shade until it moved. So I'm gonna leave that in there because that was funny. I'm trying to open this Parmesan cheese. Oh man, it is a mess. This is very crumbly, but I love Parmesan cheese. I used to not really care about, I, want, I don't want to make a mess. Oh man, this was a bad idea. I used to not really like Parmesan cheese, like it was whatever. Then I started buying the like bricks of it. Amazing. It's so much better, obviously. This is from, of course I like tore it all up. I don't even know. Try and find the like label. Okay, so the Pleasant Ridge Reserve, which is not this cheese, it's that other cheese that like had the funky rind. It's an aged alpine style cheese. Sweetness born from the grass fed milk combines with savory flavors developed by the cheese's natural washed rind. Resulting complexity, rich and salty with a long fruity finish. I did find it to be a perfect like snacking cheese. This one, it's like cheddar in the bite texture. Comparing it to Parmesan, the Parmesan cheese is much more crumbly, much more like crunchy, and the Parmesan is saltier, which is why I really like it. Oh, I think someone from Whole Foods came and collected the buggies. But I'm just in my local Whole Foods parking lot. Let me tell you about my night out so far. While I show you what else I got. Ooh, there's more stuff in here I want to eat. I bought some kimchi. This is Scotty's Fermented Foods Raw and Living Kimchi with Fish Sauce. The fish sauce contains anchovy. They also had a vegan version, but I don't mind. The anchovy, I will eat anchovy. And then I saw, these I saw first. Oh no, that's not true. I saw the kimchi first, but these I picked up first. Kimchi pickles from Cleveland Kitchen, fresh and crunchy, addictively delicious. I want them like thoroughly shook. So we're gonna try these. <laughs> a lot of strong flavors we got parmesan we got kimchi I accidentally dropped this in the store as i was buying it and so now i'm worried i cracked the lid 
Nope. That smells really good. I don't want to whisper it. Mm. I don't have a fork. Oh, wait, maybe I do. I have a spoon. This is why you always save your... I'm going to smell very savory today. I'm going to bite of parmesan. Just having a little picnic. Why did I do that? Okay. We'll get back to the kimchi in a second. I bought the unflavored Simply Delish and the strawberry Simply Delish sugar-free jellos. Um, these I like because they're not made with gelatin and I never know what kind of gelatin is being used. They use carrageenan, potassium citrate, plant-based soluble fiber, and citric acid. And then in, that's the unflavored one because I'm going to make a banana fluff with this like that and then banana extract and then the strawberry has erythritol carrageenan other stuff man it's windy so that's what i'm gonna do all right now that i have no more parmesan in my mouth i'm gonna try the kimchi 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 i first had kimchi at a korean barbecue place in dallas jen g-e-n korean barbecue That was spiky. Bye, Keep refrigerated. 100% fermented kimchi. No preservatives and no pasteurization. This is a living food. And I've heard fermented things are like good for your tummy. If you're if you're like a gut health girly, you're probably on the fermented food train. Yeah. Excuse me. I'm not a gut health girly. Not so much in the sense of like I'm purposely eating because I have like IBS or Crohn's or gluten intolerance. I just eat so that I don't have a stomach ache. <laughs> So for me, that looks different than other for others. Mmm, this is so good. I really want to put this on like a hot dog as like like a relish, a kimchi relish, which I could make one. This is the kimchi pickles from Cleveland Kitchen. Delicate. Okay. Mmm, it smells like pickles. I love pickles. I love pickles. I'm glad I'm wearing green for this. Is the tree next to me like brushing against my car or someone crunching a box? It's got to be the tree. These are good because they're like salty, sour. I mean, it's a pickle, but it's not like a sweet pickle. I don't know. It's flavored with the kimchi. It's good. Yep. I like that. These containers are always kind of weird. Brookshire's puts their um, potato salad and egg salad in these. And you really got to like make sure they're closed to find balancing area for all these i'm not gonna eat the rind i don't like the smell of it but i really eat the other bit that's good they also had a sale of chalk zero keto bark i got the hazelnut milk and the almond dark chocolate dark chocolate for my husband because i love him um and it was like Five something? Where's my receipt? It was, oh my goodness, the way this is like written out is weird. Anyway, I got two bars of the Lily's white chocolate. They were on super duper mega sale, but they're still good for another year based on the expiration date. It was like $1.69 each um, after like my Amazon savings. Cause you get like an extra prime, extra 10% off sale prices. So it was on sale. $5.99 for each bag of Chalk Zero. And then my only thing about Chalk Zero on their website, the same size bag is $4.99. Now I could get other flavors on sale. Sorry, $6.99 regular price for Chalk Zero. So I'm getting it a dollar cheaper in store. And it's not melting in delivery. I just have such bad luck getting chocolate chocolate, like meltable, perishable things like that from them i'll buy all the other stuff i just bought a box of the honey strawberry jelly dark chocolate hazelnut spread and two boxes of the butter cookies because my daughter loves the butter cookies i'll buy that i'll buy the like non-meltable things because the way they package stuff is really great i think just because it comes from california it just can't survive the trip to my house i was as brave as i'm gonna go once you get close to that rind it's kind of weird that's all i got from whole foods 
the beginning of my mommy's night out was me going to the library my work has a book club the parmesan is very crumbly and i'm just trying to get it out of the like plastic okay look at that it's beautiful there was a book club started and we're on month three. This month's book is One Dark Window by Rachel Gillick. And I had purchased it from Barnes and Noble. And then my library, like I had a hold on it and I just didn't think the hold was gonna come available in time at the library. So I bought it at Barnes and Noble. Then the hold came in in time and I realized it's a series and I don't want, I don't wanna buy the first book of a series that I don't know already that I like it. So if I like it, I'll buy it again, but I'm gonna return the Barnes and Noble book, see if I can exchange it for a different murder book that is a standalone, or if I could get a couple kids books, like either activity book or like picture books for my daughter. She really likes this I Spy book that my brother got her. We were amazed that she was like really good about like finding the, um, finding the little pictures because some of them are hard and she's like, it's right there. I would like to get her some more of those, just different themes because they come in different themes. The one he got her was like A to Z to each page. The clues are, they highlight a specific letter. It's not like, and it's also not like A to Z. It's not like A things, B things, C things. That was weird. So the way it's like structured and written, not my favorite. This is not A to Z. This is just you highlighting the same letter in the words. And then it repeats. It's like, there's a bunch of pages where you want to find H things. And there's like a couple pages where you want to find P things. And it's like, no, it should be an A, B, C. Like each page should be a letter, I think. This is the rest of my Parmesan. I don't like eating all the way down to the rind because it's like, it's not as tasty. It's fine if you're like going to grind it up, like grate it or shred it. I bite not like this. Nah. Now we're going to go with my kimchi Parmesan breath. I don't have any gum. We're going to go to Barnes & Noble and return the book. See, look, you can see this is like... The brand new book. The library book. But oh, funny story while I ha while I have you. Funny story about my library book. So this is the thingy, the little sticker receipt that they put on it because there's like a self checkout section. So it's organized by your last name. I didn't know that. And then you go to the computer, you scan your library card, you put your book on this like table reader thing scanner thingy and it checks it out and you can boop print a receipt it's great it's cool i didn't know that the very first time i went to that library i went straight to the desk and i was like i'm here to pick up and she walked over to the self-checkout and picked up the book for me and then walked around to the counter i was like i'm so sorry i've never i've never been here before i've never like i didn't realize that was over there because this is my first time coming to this specific branch. You could have just told me to go over there. And she's like, no, it gives me something to do. <laughs> I'm like, okay. Because if I was there, I'd have been like, oh, you can just use the self-checkout over there. That was last month when I was doing the silent patient. This month, I realized I could go to self-checkout. So I go up and I'm looking under the S's because my last name starts with an S. And then I'm like, I can't find it. It was under the R's under my maiden name because I established my library card before I got married. And so I was like, I was, I looked at every single S book and someone with the last name S was checking out the, oh, I wonder if it's my coworker. Her last name starts with S. Yeah, this doesn't taste good anymore. The Silence of the Girls. I think that's our next book. Anyway, I'm like, did I accidentally check out, like, did I accidentally check out this one? Like put in a hold for this one and not the other one. And then I was like, no, cause there, there's also your four, the last four digits of your library card on there and it didn't match my card. So I was like, okay, that's not mine. You're not crazy. And then I look over and I'm like, oh, cause it's in the R's. So we're just doing really good. I, I did hit my head today at work. I like bumped my head into this clear plexiglass little door. There's like these windows that we put labels and drugs through called pass throughs. Well, we call them pass-throughs. I don't know the technical term for it, but you pass it through. So I had it open and then I was working on my stuff, signing my things, and I went to walk and the door was right here and I went, bum, bum. <laughs> like right there, right where that hurt. It was a day. Anyway, let's go to Barnes and Noble. I see what we can do. I'll let you know, obviously, what the resolution to that is. And then maybe we'll go to Kroger because it's right next to the Barnes and Noble and my baby needs some oranges. Hey, it is much later, not much later. Um. 
I was able to exchange the books. I couldn't decide which ones I wanted. Um, new location, my driveway, but it's dark, so I have the lights. It's probably a little better for some reason. That one's just really bright. We'll go with that. Um, so I went to Barnes and Noble, and then I went to Kroger. Um, so instead of one dark window, I returned that one and I got You'd Look Better as a Ghost, a novel. Because it was buy one, get one half off, and there were a bunch of them, and it's lime green. It's kind of cool looking. And then I was like, oh, what other book do I want? And then I was like, I don't really want any other book. So I got the board book version of Madeline. I used to have the hardcover, like regular paper. Ooh, that came off really nice. Version growing up. Um, it's got the, it's a Caldecott Honor book. Love this. I really loved when the Madeline live action movie came out. I saw it in theaters and then we bought like the VHS or the DVD and I watched it over and over and over again. I'm my window, but it's my house. So got that for the babe. Um, it's like a book book. It's not like a cutesy little picture book. I mean, it's a picture book, but like there's more than just little blurbs on here. It's more than moo ba la 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 that we love some moo ba la la la. Sandra Boynton needs to is like the new Dr. Seuss to me. She is oh, I love all her books. I love all her books. So I went to Kroger. Um, we'll do a little grocery haul. I got my husband some Belveda sandwich cookies. I love these also but those are for him. That's his treat. I did get the banana pudding version of the Simply Delish sugar-free pudding because they had it. They have blueberries on sale. I got a big jar of peanut butter. I got some halos, oranges. I got a big thing of heavy cream so I can make the fluff. And then I bought some MSG. Don't come at me about MSG. I don't want to hear it. I mean, you could argue about it in the comments. Maybe that'll make my video like increase engagement, but uh, this is the Accent brand flavor enhancer. 60% less sodium than salt. Mono sodium glutamate. I feel like I'm missing something, but it's not that important. Oh, some Lily's Sour Gummy Worms. I was looking for... Yeah, that's a sour gummy worm. My little girl, she likes the Lily's. She really likes the sour watermelons. Because I was not smart and I gave her a little taste and she was like mmm candy and I was like oh no so now she wants mommy's candy and I need to move the pantry area where the candy is I think I need to move it up a level so she can't reach <laughs> it's just at her eyes that was my whole day I love how I spent the evening returning some like 45 50 dollar shorts to Amazon and I spent way more than that here. But I got some good stuff. Thanks so much for coming along with me on my mommy's night out. I am now going to go pick up these groceries, show my husband everything. I might just go to bed. I'm really tired. I worked hard today. <laughs> Not regarding this video, but I worked hard at my both my jobs today. Mama job and the one that they pay me. Oh, it's only eight o'clock like 8 15. thanks so much for watching i hope you guys like this video and i'll see you guys next time